greetings of the Lord, the Lord of the offerings. The banking details are shared on our different WhatsApp groups, on Messenger groups, as well as on our different Facebook platforms. Amen. Amen. Tonight, we will get the word of God from the book of Matthew, chapter 6, from verse 19 and 3. It reads as follows. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and vermin destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moth and vermin do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The eye is the lamp of the body. If your eyes are healthy, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eyes are unhealthy, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light within you is darkness, how great is that darkness? No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot save both God and money. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothes? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I want to go through the word of God together tonight, believing the word of God to be taught with the power of the Holy Spirit, power to heal, power to bless, power to protect in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want to, I don't know whether it's a prayer request. Oh, this I think this can be a prayer request. I think this can be a prayer request. It does qualify to be so. You know, a few days ago, I went and saw this big land. It's a big land, a wonderful land. With a big house, big land. And uh, for some days now, or now when I was praying, I feel like I, I want that big house. I want that big land. And the reason why I believe we can build a wonderful sanctuary for God, where we imagine praying on that big land, a place where people can worship, people can pray. Can that be better? I think that can be better. You know, what is your desire? What is it that you want God to do? What is it that you want God to do for you tomorrow? In the days to come? And for what? You must find how God can benefit on your blessings. You must have dreams that you think, when God has done this for me, this is how he's going to benefit and in my heart, I'm like, this can be a good portion of land which get God can be worshipped. Where people can come from all over the world so that we can enjoy together in the presence of God. Where people can come all over the world to be blessed, to be healed, Amen. to be delivered. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. One day it's going to be reality. Very soon it's going to be a reality. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Anyway, let us go straight to the word of God from the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse number 19. The Bible says that do not store for yourself treasures on earth where moth and vermin will destroy and where thieves will break in and steal. The Bible says that do not store for yourself 
Don't store for yourself treasures on earth. Don't think only about what you can achieve in your life. What you can achieve of only the tangible things of this world. But think about what else can I do for God? How else can I invest in the kingdom of God? We have talked about it. In this world, we are living for some time. In this world, nobody is living forever. In reality, one day we will check out from this world. Amen. In reality, one day we will check out from this world. No matter how many houses we will own in this world. No matter how many cars we will own in this world. No matter how many things we can achieve in this world. The reality of life is this. One day we will pass on from this world. Amen. Then, that's why now, as a child of God, it's very, very much important when you are planning your success, when you are planning your achievement, when you are planning your things, don't only plan to achieve things in this world. Plan to do things for God so that you can achieve things in the eternity. So that you can, uh, you can, because when you are planning things for God and when you are doing things for God, it is as if you are investing in the eternity. The Bible talks about the parable. The Bible said that Jesus Christ, he talked about when the certain king gave out certain talent. And the Bible said that, you know, on the talent... Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let us read from what I'm talking about is found in the book of um, Matthew chapter 25. The Bible says that in verse number 14. Again, it will be like a man going on a journey and who called his servants and he tried them his wells to them. To one he gave five bags of gold, to another two bags, to another one bag, each according to his ability. And the Bible says that, you know, the one who have received five bags, the Bible says that he put his money to work and gained five more bags. And also got the one who got the two bags, he gained two more. But the man who have received one bag, he dug a hole in the ground and, um, and hid his master's money. Amen. You know, each and every one of us, God have given some sort of a talent. Each and every one Amen. of us, God have given some sort of a gift. But whatever yeah. gift that God has entrusted you with, whatever thing that God has entrusted you with, whatever God that ever anything that God has given to you, everything that you find in your hand, find whether you use it to profit it. Find a way how can I also God benefit out of it? How can I also use it kingdomly? How can God benefit out of this? So that you can, it can be as if you are investing it in the kingdom. If you don't do so. You know, the, re- the reality of life is that when we came in this world, Physically, nobody ever came with anything. And in reality, even on the day that you will check out of this world, physically, whether they bury that person with a bag of money, whether they bury that person with a car inside the car, whether they build a beautiful house in the graveyard, 
that person, the reality will not go with anything. Amen. Unless of the things that you can go with when you go to heaven. And those are the things that you can only go with if you have used them for God. Use them for God. That's how you invest unto the kingdom. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Use them for God. That's how you invest in the kingdom. Otherwise, the Bible says that what will profit a man when he gain the whole of this world, yet for faith is so. What will profit a man when we get, you know, many things of this world? Many things of this world, which there's nothing wrong with that. It's a benefit of being blessed. It's a benefit of seeing His grace. But don't forget, you know, we need to be wise. And we know how to invest in the kingdom of God when we begin to have a what? A kingdom plans. Kingdom plans. Kingdom dreams. What can I do for God? How can I benefit God? How can God benefit out of the things that God has blessed me with? How, how can... You know, how wonderful it can be when somebody begins to say, how can I bless God? You know, the Bible says that, you know, God blessed David. And David became a king. He became a king of Israel and he became rich and things begin to go well with David. David from becoming and from from becoming from being a nobody to becoming a king of Israel. And the Bible said that David goes like, What can I do for God? I wanna build the house of God. I wanna do something wonderful for God. And the Bible said God was so challenged. God was like, ah, Nobody ever since God have taken the children of Israel out of Egypt. So that he was he have been moving from one tent to another. God, I've, he have been moving from one tent to another. There was nobody who has ever thought I want to build the house of God. God said, David, uh, you have touched my heart. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. How is David touching God's heart? David is catching, touching God's heart as he was having the plan to advance the kingdom. David is not only explaining of how can I store for myself treasures here on earth? How can I? No, no, David is thinking beyond. And go like, what can I do for God? Imagine, we say God is a greater than the greatest. We say that the Bible says that he is the mightier than the mightiest, richer than the might richest. And now you begin to say, what can I do for God? I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. It is as if you are testing God. If you begin to say, what can I do for God? It is as if you are, you are testing God. You know, that's why we've got the Bible. This is what the Bible says in the book of Malachi. Malachi Amen. chapter 3. When you read chapter 3, verse number 10, the Bible says that bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. Te- in my house. And the Bible says, test me in this says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there won't be room enough to store it. The Bible, that's means what the Bible is saying that when somebody is beginning to do something for God, blessing the blesser, taking care of the take care of the take ah, so like, ah, ah. Are you testing me where that I can bless? Are you trying to test me how rich I am? 
And the richer wow. than the richest begin to show the person who's testing him to say, I, I, I am rich, oh. I am be- I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. When you begin to do something for God, it is as if you are testing him. How rich are you? How big are you? And God said that when you begin to test him, he will show you that uh, he has got the storehouse in heaven. He has got the floodgates of heaven where he can open them and you can't have the room enough. Amen. Who wants to see how much God can bless? Who wants to see how much God can take care? How much God can, God can elevate? If you want to do so, think beyond and do beyond about yourself. And that's when God said that, ah, the way you have done, I'm going to also bring a, out of you, I will bring a king. That king also will be Solomon. There will be peace in his time. It will be peace because you have, you have got this. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. I'm talking to somebody who's saying that, what can I do in life? What can I do in 2023? What can I do for God? And I'm saying to you, if you want to touch the heart of God, begin to be planning, begin to do. Instead of only storing for yourself treasures on earth, but begin to continue to store for, begin to do things for God. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. And God is not only going to bless you all, he's going to bless also your descendants. He's going to bless your descendant as he will be proving to you how much can he bless. How much is he rich? It is, you know, like, Amen. this is another way of touching God's heart. You want to touch God's heart? You Amen. want to touch, touch God's Amen. heart? If you want to touch God's heart, there's another way to touch God's heart. When God can begin to say, ah, how really this one have got a good heart? This one have got a good heart. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Oh, and the heart that thinks about my business. The heart that thinks about, imagine, you are walking in the street. It is you walking in the street. But you find someone who may not be having so much, but willing to help you. Not because you are broke sometimes, you knowing that you are blessed. But that day maybe you find yourself don't have money in your pocket. And somebody said that, no, 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 don't worry, I will help you. But this is all I ever have. You are t- it will be hard. You will be like, because I can do more. What can I do more for this one? This is the play. This is when you, when you are blessing God. This is the the point or the corner where you put God to say, Ah, you are helping God. You are helping the mightier than the mightiest. You are helping the richer than the richest. You are rich. You are helping the Creator of heaven and earth. I'm saying to us, it is time we begin to say that ah, I want to do more for God and we begin to do it and you will see there are floodgates in heaven. There are storehouse of blessings in heaven which God wants to release them to you and is about to release them to us by fire by force in Jesus' name. Amen. As the Bible says that in the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse number 20, the Bible says that, but store up for yourself treasures in heaven where moth and vermin and vermin do not destroy, where thieves do not break in and steal. 
children of God, we need to begin to have a plan to say that how can we store for yourself treasures in heaven? Amen. Because we have begin to have a revelation to say that uh, no matter what, we have seen nobody can get, come out of this world with their cars. Because in reality, what we have been talking about, you are a spirit, you are not a body. And the day you check out of this world, you, you know, when you talk about checking out of this world, we are not talking about you are the lifeless body that you will take off on that day. No, that is just your body, which you live in. We have talked about it. But you are talking about the real you, the spirit, going to a spiritual home. You need to go with spiritual things. And the spiritual things are what you have done for God. I don't know whether you are hearing Amen. what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. We are talking about the real you, the spiritual you, who should have done things for the spirit, who should have done things for the spirit, who should have done things for God, so that when you Amen. check out of this world, there will be, you will have treasures in heaven that you are about to reap where in the spiritual kingdom. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. It is very, very much important to understand that we are spirit and we are spiritual being. Yes, we are living in this, in this world and living in the house of flesh, but we are not a flesh. We are a spirit. And when you're talking about working for God, we are trying to say that how can we convert the tangible things, the monetary things to become the spiritual treasures. Amen. How can you transform the life and the time that God has given us in this life? The life and the time that God has given us in this life so that the life Amen. and time can become treasures in heaven. Amen. When you spend your life for God, when you spend your time for God, when you serve God. You know, the life that we have, we are living today, it's a borrowed life. It's a God-given life. And it's very, very much important for us to live it for God. Live it for God. It's an investment. You know, sometimes when you are investing, it is as if you wonder whether you will see that money that you have been investing. But I'm trying to tell you, child of God, yes, you are not wasting your life. You are not wasting your time. You are investing your resources. And the Bible says that store for yourself treasures in heaven. We have to. Hallelujah. So that even on the day that you'll have to check out of this world, you will be looking looking forward for it. You must be lo- I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. The Bible says that in the book of Matthew 6, verse number 21. For the Bible says that for where your treasure is, there your heart also will be. If you know that you have been serving God, you have been investing in the spiritual kingdom, and you know that the time has come to go and meet Jesus, to go and see God, you will be looking for out for it because you have been investing all your life. You have been serving God all your life. Otherwise, people Amen. who have never served God with your life, with their life, what the Bible says that what will it profit a man when they gain the whole of this world, when they gain everything of this world, yet forfeit their soul? The day that they're supposed to check out because they've never saved God. They, do, they don't look forward for it. They don't look forward for it. Can't you know when you are a servant of God and you have served the Lord so well, you can't wait for that day when the Lord will say that, well done, you faithful and wonderful servant, when we meet him. Amen. Then we need... Amen. To have that kind of revelation. 
But life is not all about living for ourselves. Success is not all about succeeding for ourselves. Success is all about also talking about more. What can I what can I do for God? What can I do for God? Amen. Because God has sent us into this world. And one day we will have to meet him. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. One day we will have to meet him. And we will be rewarded for what we have done. And we are not going to be rewarded for what we have done for ourselves. We will be rewarded for what we have done for God. Amen. We will be rewarded for what we have done. We have done for God. Then what are we doing with our time? What are we doing with our life? What are we doing? What are we doing with our resources? What are, we, what are we prioritizing? What are we prioritizing? Amen. Have you ever thought? How do you want to be your last day and your first day in heaven to be like? And you are forever to be Amen. like? Have you ever thought? When we're talking about let us store for you ourselves treasures in heaven so that we may be mindful of the heavenly things. Not only be mindful of the earthly things only. You need to read the place where we are mindful of the heavenly things. Because the Bible says that because if you do so for where you are hey where your treasure is there your heart will be also there your heart Amen. hallelujah Amen. say fire yeah 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 fire yeah I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says that. In the book of John, chapter 21, verse number 15, the Bible said that when they had finished eating, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than this? Amen. And the Bible said that, yes, Lord, he said, you know that I love you. And Jesus said that, Jesus said, feed my lamb, work for me, do something for me. Amen. Take care of my children. Take care of the kids. Do you love me? Am I really in your heart? Are you really? Is Amen. Jesus Christ really in your heart? Amen. And if he's really in our heart, we need to begin to do something for him. To serve him in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. Amen. Anyway, because of time, I want us to begin to pray asking God. Help me to serve you. Help me to live for you. Help me to... With this time that is left in my life. Because there is a time which is left in our life. We have lived certain portion of our life. But there is a time which is left. But we, let us ask God. That in this time which is left in my life. Holy Spirit. Help me to live for God. Help me to, to also work for God. Help me to prioritize Amen. with the resources that you are about to bless me with. Because God is about to open the floodgates of heaven, blessing you, lifting you higher. With the blessing that you are about to help me to prioritize your kingdom. Help me to do more for you. Help me to do more for you. Because that, that, that is that is the best thing that you can ever do with your life, the time which is left in your life. Amen. When you're going to be doing something for God, that's the best we can ever do with our time, with our resources. And tonight, let us go and ask God with the time that is left in my life, 
Help me to prioritize you. Help me to prioritize your kingdom. Give me wisdom. Give me revelation of how to do it best. Oh, Rabba, Baba, Baba. Oh, Rabba, Baba, Baba. Shia Katu Parayan Duluku Shia Tura Bakata. Oh, Rabba, Baba. Oh, Rabba, Baba. Oh, Rakaya Talaka. Oh, Dia Karabaye. Oh, Rabba, Yan Dolobos, Yan Dalaba, Yan Dolobos, Yan Dalaba, Yan Dorobo. Ora kayando no boshi andaraba Ora ba 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 Ora ba so de no boshi andaraba ba ba Ara ba 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 so de no boshi andaraba Aki de eke de 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 With the life the days of our life the years of our life Oh Father help us to save you Help us to live for you. Help us to do something for you, to work for your master. The Lord is giving you resources to serve Him. Resources to serve God is giving us, is blessing us. Ora baka tolo bo katia si bradia so ana katuza bradia e zania kuta karaba ondo lo kuta ba onda raba zania so e ketere ba 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 hania dukusi bradia so tolo ko. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Fire, 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 I command them to the abyss. I command them to the abyss. Anything which is not of God. Anything which is not of God. In my life. In my life. In my body. In my body. In my career. In our countries, in every sector of my life, in every sector of my life, catch fire now, catch fire now, catch fire now, catch fire now. I command them, come out, out. I command. I command. Everything to turn around for my goal. Everything to turn around for my goal. Say everything. Everything. Turn around. Turn around. For my goal. For my goal. Let there be miracle jobs. Let there be miracle jobs. Miracle jobs. Miracle jobs. Miracle cars. Miracle cars. Miracle houses. Miracle houses. Miracle money. Miracle money. Miracle breakthrough. Miracle breakthrough. Miracle peace. Miracle peace. Miracle stability. Miracle stability. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. You are my Lord. You are my Lord. You are my Savior. You are my Savior. 
Wash me with your blood. Forgive me my sins. Bless me today. Protect me from today. From today. I am born again. I am, I am saved. I am saved. Send me the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Send the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. The love of God. The, love of God. the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us all. Be with us all. Be with us all. Surely goodness and love. Shall follow me. Shall follow me. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. And I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Tomorrow, we are praying and fasting, praying for the grace to take over, praying for the grace to dominate, praying for the grace for many, for the veil to be taken off, for them to see Jesus. As you are praying in every sphere of your life, we'll be taking over, we'll be expanding, we'll be taking over in the name of Jesus Christ and you will be dominating Amen. and I want to say to us tonight may God bless you have a blessed and a wonderful night in Jesus name bye bye everybody have a blessed morning day and afternoon and night amen bye bye bye, bye. bye.